we did a video which was a tug of war between this car and a nitro and Jace House Sanders if I've got that right said this why are the wheels sharp on the edges hmm good question now it's not the first time I've had that question and it's to do with a thing we call ballooning let me show you I'll try not to rip my arms off okay ready Whoa. okay one more time Right, I still have two arms, that's good. Don't try this at home. Uh, so, what happened there? That's called ballooning. You might have noticed that the wheels got sharp on the edges exactly the same way they did on the video, and that's because of a thing called centrifugal force. What the hell is that, I hear you ask? Okay, well, maybe you didn't. Okay, now let's just ignore for a minute the skid marks on the bench. <laughs> no, they're from tires, all right? Don't be like that. Here's the middle of the wheel, and as the wheel spins, there's a force going outwards like this called centrifugal force. And that is what causes the rubber on the tyres to stop being... Oh, look, you can see that I'm not good at Pictionary. To go from being like this to being like that. As the force draws it out, that force comes out through the middle and we get what um, Jace Howe, that can't be his real name, right? Jace Howe has described as sharp edges and that's ballooning. Now, very simple experiment to demonstrate how this works. You can either do it with a nut and a piece of string or something heavy and basically you do this. Now, what we're seeing here is the nut is moving away from the center, which would be the axle in the case of the car, and the faster it spins, the more it wants to get away from the center and the harder it pulls. In this case, it would make our wheels balloon even further. Now, oh, nope, that's not it. Nah, here's one I prepared earlier. This is what happens when it spins really fast, it rips the tire apart. Now, this is off a of Baja, and um, the Baja flipped, the throttle got jammed, the engine revved um, completely out of control, ripped the tire apart. Now, these um, particular cars are notorious for doing it as well. We've actually wound the ESC back on this one so that doesn't happen. Um, and plus the fact that you noticed before it was vibrating a lot, that's because these tires aren't balanced, the whole thing's a little bit out of shape. But you've probably watched some of these videos where we've, you know, we've actually. Well, we've, this car's been well used, right? So that's what happens. Now, besides the uh, string and nut experiment, if you get really crazy, you can do this. Another demonstration of centrifugal force is with a bucket and water. You put about this much water in the bucket and you spin it around like this and spin it really hard and spin it up over your head. And if you spin it fast enough, you don't get wet. Um, do try that at home. So there's a couple of ways you can demonstrate that force. And that is the same force that's acting on your tyres. That's why this happens. That's why that happens. Hope you've learned something. Um, thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and watch these crazy videos too. Super fast, awesome. <laughs>